Joel Grind from Toxic Holocaust. This is my five tour tips. I would say number one would be to stay healthy for sure, um, especially if you're doing a long tour like we're on right now. Um, the way I usually do that is, for one, is like you got to really be selective on how much you party and have a, like things like that. Um, pick your battles with stuff like that. Don't try to do it every night. I've done that. It doesn't last for very long. You, you don't feel good, if, uh, and you don't want to be feeling bad for like an extended period of time on tour. That's it's the worst place to be sick. Yeah. Tip number two: go to grocery stores instead of going to places like fast food, things like that. Um, you know, we always end up going to Whole Foods. It's expensive, but you can get a lot of different produce, things that keep you healthy on the road, and you know, it's way better for you in the long run for sure. Tip three would probably be, I would say, be nice to each other. Uh, be respectful of each other. Um, you're in very close quarters with people for a long period of time. Um, most people don't even experience that with their family, girlfriends, anything like that. You're basically next to someone all the time. So just be respectful of their space. Um, you know, kind of figure out what triggers them, like what makes them, you know, uh, upset and try not to push those buttons. You know, things like that. So. Uh, yeah, tip four, I, I think, would be to basically uh, kind of get a poll in the van and see what everybody wants to listen to. You know, the entertainment aspect is pretty important after a show. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a bum out if you're listening to something that the rest of the, the van is not stoked on. So I always like to kind of make sure that everybody is on the same page with that. And, you know, audiobooks are always a good choice. It's, it's something that it makes the time go by fast, especially on long drives. And, you know, not many people I know are upset with like a choice in an audiobook as opposed to like maybe a musical genre or an album that they really hate you know so I would say tip five would probably be that um, your fans are the people that brought you here so make sure you're always cool to them um, even when you know that day when you're sick or when you don't you have to load in you're super busy just make sure that the fans feel respected by you just as much as you know it's a it's a give and take you know like they're they're the ones buying the ticket buying the, the the shirt buying the album and that's what got you here so make sure you're respectful to them and and cool to them and you know give them the picture give them the autograph give them you know your time you know it's like that goes way further for them than maybe your little you know five second encounter could you know be like that for them it adds to you know they like your album but then they have a, a good experience to add on top of that so I think that's really important.